Oats, barley, fruits on the go, energy balls. So energy balls, those things that you pay $5 for a piece that big when you go to a deli or a cafe, are actually really easy to make. Um, and what I mean by easy is that you literally just throw everything into a food processor. Now, in, I've given you a list of, say, three recipes, and I take my inspiration from just flavors that I like. Um, so the one I'm making for you, and this goes with my love of cycling, is that Sometimes running out the door in the morning, I can grab a smoothie because 5.30 in the morning is not a fun time to be banging around making noise in the kitchen when your partner's going to give you grief when you get home later for that noise. Um, so I need to grab and go. So if I make up a portion of this, I will get say 28 to 30 balls of about that size and it's up to you how big you roll them. Um, but this is a good go-to, unrefined, um, delicious. If you didn't like nuts, there are other alternatives. You can do like brown rice, but if you're doing brown rice, you'd be very conscious of how you've cooked it, make sure it's well cooked. Um, there's nothing worse than that nuttiness. And in fact, back, rice actually holds bacteria. So actually rice is probably something you need to be conscious of. It's probably one of the only things that you can boil and it will still hold the bacteria. Um, and a lot of people will get sick from eating rice one or two days old without reheating it past 100 degrees. Um, all right, so making this, so this comes down to nuts, dates, chocolate, and coffee. I always was that person who'd be like, oh, let's go grab a, a muesli bar and a coffee. And one day I just went, I'm gonna put coffee in my muesli bar. <laughs> That's genius. I'm an ideas guy. <laughs> in fact, actually, has anyone seen the movie The Castle? Yeah. Greatest movie. <laughs> I watched it the other night. That was a very cool. Outlook on life. I, think, I like to think I'm a bit of an ideas man when it comes to cooking. Um, so nuts, dates, oh, make sure they're pitted. So yeah, so make sure your dates are pitted because they don't make a great noise and they're not very digestible. Um, my favorite dates, if you have the budget for it, are the medjool dates. Okay, big, thick, rich, honey-like dates. Um, these are just a, a, a much drier version. I'm adding dark chocolate. Anyone like chocolate? I like chocolate? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, coffee? It's not Labazza, but I don't know. So with the coffee, you just made coffee yourself? I actually just used instant, but don't tell my friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you can do whatever you have the means to make. There's a lot of, I, there will be a lot of times I will tell you one thing, but I've actually done another to make it sound better than what I really did. I'm a real, like, I'm a cheapskate when it comes to cooking at home. I, do, I will, exactly. I will add water instead of milk. But for the sake of this, um, I don't know how, I mean, you guys have probably all gone through varied, a varied relationship with your chemo and, have you all been through chemo? <coughs> who's, who's gone through chemo? Who's going through chemo? Some of you. And so, can I ask, so if you're going through chemo at the moment, do you have a palate? Can you taste food? Still? Oh, it changes from treatment to treatment. So I guess just... Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a good friend of mine, Chris, who went through it. So I went through his journey with him a little bit. And he just got over food to the point where he wouldn't eat. So I had as... And this is the hardest thing is knowing when your friends who are going through chemo or if you're going through it is how do you reach out and actually help? Does it help that I come over and, and, and cook you a meal or load your fridge or buy you some shopping? Sometimes he just needed me there to, because it was, it was varied and sometimes he just wanted to be by himself. Um, so I think something like this is you need to be conscious of energy, right? In the morning um, or throughout the day. And if it's that hit, and that's why I keep calling it the, the three o'clock crash next to a vending machine. Don't get caught out with something that's over-processed when it could be something that's actually somewhat nourishing, a source of fiber, and a great source of energy. Um, all right, and it's not as hard as you think. It really, really is if you follow the recipe, just dump everything in. Um, I do add a pinch of salt because I love that salty sweet. Um, I've used rock salt there, or sea salt, sorry. Um, do you all have a blender? Yeah, most of you have a blender. And if not, look, you can go, it's pretty monotonous, but you could stand there and chop everything by hand and mix it. It'd just be a little coarser. But this, this, a good knife and a non-stick pan is probably your favorite friends in the, in the kitchen. Um, and then to that, I'll add this. And then just turn it on. 
Make the horrible noise. That's why you do it once a week. Oh. And so you process it to a point of something that you like. I mean, I here's some I prepared earlier. Whoa! I actually did make these earlier. Um, maybe we get a hand to hand. Would you guys like to try some? You're yeah. yeah. serious. Um, so these are, these are coated in raw cacao. Or cocoa. Um, the, like I said, these are a blank canvas. And so you could add apricots and sesame seeds and pistachios and dried cherries and things like that. It fundamentally is dried fruit and nuts that is processed. Um, my partner and I, Sammy, we are making some bars at the moment and we're adding egg white protein to them. So we're making a, a, a protein bar. Um, and we're using things like uh, MC medium chain MCT oil. This is all for efficiency for on the bike because I'm going to be a pro cyclist when I grow up. <laughs> Next, slide. Next slide. I'm going to I'm going to moonlight as a cook and pretend to be a pro cyclist. Oh, obviously, so coffee and, and cocoa and chocolate and. It's just a source of energy. Like I said, and you can make these as big or as little as you like. You can make them and roll them out and make a bar. But fundamentally, you're looking for sort of that sort of texture. Whoa, look at that. It's teamwork. <laughs> I don't know whether they're enjoying them. Are they all right? Don't get, I hope no one's wearing white silk because cocoa won't come out. All right. Let's be gone with that one. How are they? Did he do all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They will last in your fridge up until you eat them, basically. Because they're dried fruit and nuts. I, look, I don't keep them any longer than a week and a half. Anyway, because they, they are just dried fruit and nuts. I do have a small amount of salt in there, anyway. As somewhat as a preservative. More so for flavour. But they tend not to last. So, I, that, the amount that is being handed out is two times the recipe. So, that makes about 28... 30 balls. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing, there's nothing, like, wait, the problem with freezing some foods is that it breaks their, their, the cells, their moisture cells, so they lose a whole lot of moisture. These are not going to lose moisture because the only moisture that's in them is a little bit of coffee. Okay? Um, let me get rid of this. Unless you add the rum. Well, well, let's take that with, I'll give you that bit too. You're so strong. Um, I find raisins are really sweet if you try and comp uh, if you take a cup of dates and a couple of raisins, raisins are really sweet. So I would probably do a balance of say half raisins, half figs, dried figs, dried um, figs, all right? I'm, now, I'm the one wearing the white top. Good, good. <laughs> um, so like I said, th there I, th I thought it was an, a revolution when I learned how to make energy balls, when I, but then I realized it was just fruit and nuts, and someone's trying to sell it to me for five bucks. Yeah. What a rip-off. But now you know how to make them. Um, <coughs> yeah, like arancini. Arancini, I ah, see. Risotto. That's what you do with risotto that you don't use. So just take a small, a, a little bit, and just roll it up. It, you'll find if you wet hands, uh, they won't stick anyway. And then put them in the fridge, and they'll firm right up as well. I mean, I actually like them in the fridge because they go really chewy. Yeah. Do you um, cover in the cocoa yes. before the fridge or after? Um, before. Before. So I put them on, see how I got that out like that. I put them on the cocoa, roll them, and just give them a little shake, and then straight in the fridge. And like I said, they will last uh, quite a while.